The Engineering Management Institute is thrilled to introduce our new co-host for the Structural Engineering Channel podcast, Rachel Holland. Rachel is an engineering supervisor at Simpson Strong Tie, and she's going to share with you one key career tip for structural engineers based on her career experience. But before we do that, let's get to know Rachel. Okay. Um, yeah, I am the engineering supervisor for our Southwest region of the United States at Simpson. And at the branch level, you kind of do uh, a whole lot of different things, right? So we kind of pretend, or we kind of say we are a jack of all trades when we are working at one of the manufacturing facilities. First and foremost is our, our customer service, and we want to be there to help our customers. So any, any issues that come up, any questions that they have in a technical sense, we are the people for that. But I also have the opportunity to work a lot with outreach, um, with students, with Habitat for Humanity. There's a lot of different opportunities in, in regards to that, which I love. And then also another thing that I focus on is deck construction and properly building decks. So I travel around the U.S. and attend trade shows and teach builders, inspectors, engineers, different, different people how to build code compliant decks and also um, how to inspect them so as to maintain them. Um, I think I kind of grew into it. It wasn't like, um, it wasn't something that I wanted to do from a young age. I don't even know that I knew what it was, but I will say that my dad is a contractor. And so obviously that had a pretty big influence on me as a child. He built the house actually that I grew up in and I have two older sisters and we would always be like, dad, we want to make a slide going from our bedroom down to the first floor, or we want a tree house, or we want all these different, you know, crazy kid ideas. And he would always like, never just ignore them. He'd always just tell us, well, drop the plans, you know, we'll see if we can build it. So uh, my sisters and I would always sketch out all these little plans about how we were gonna do all these crazy things to the house. So that was from like a, a younger age, but then as I got older and I was looking at colleges and you know, what was I gonna do for a career? My dad encouraged me to look into engineering because he, I was good at math and he just thought that he'd, he'd worked with engineers his whole career and he just thought it would be a great opportunity. So I kind of started exploring it. And then I think when I got into Cal Poly and went and visited the campus, it just sort of kind of all just made sense to me. And I had applied, like when you go to Cal Poly, you have to apply for a major and I had I had picked architectural engineering. I think the pieces just sort of fell into place. And then as my career has progressed, I feel like my passion is just continuing to grow. I think the structural engineering industry is just really, it's important, right? I think that we have the ability to make things safe and functional. And we also have the ability to not do that, right? If you're, if you're not really like, um, doing what you need to be doing. And I think that as humans, we all just sort of have this assumption that buildings are safe. When I walk into a store to go shopping, it's safe. When I rent an Airbnb, it's safe. Like it's not your natural instinct to just be like, is this okay? I think we just, we have a really important role that we play. And while it's not necessarily like a glamorized profession, I think that it is crucial and important. And I think that the entire world sort of depends on us, even though they don't know that they do. I think I think that's why it, that's one of the things that makes it such a great profession. Every time I go to an industry event, I always find that I am sort of flooded with this new wave of motivation and passion about, about our field, right? So I feel like whenever I'm at a Seahawk event or just recently I attended the Seahawk convention and I walk away from those um, feeling just really proud of what we do as a community. And I really, I lean on on those types of events to really gain that motivation that uh, I have. I was really excited for this opportunity. I think one of the things that I am most excited about is I want to raise awareness about the different uh, structural engineering topics that we're going to be able to talk about with all the different guest speakers who are experts in their specific field. And I think the other thing that I also am looking forward to is encouraging that next generation of professionals that are coming up into the structural engineering field and maybe, maybe still students, maybe early in their careers and just providing them insight 
insight into what this is all about and hopefully motivating them to stay with it and keep with it and follow their passions. I think the biggest tip that I I want to share with engineers is just being aware of all of the different opportunities that you have as a structural engineer. I think it's really common to assume that you're going to be doing design work your entire career. And as a college student, that was something that I sort of, I thought, I think maybe I wasn't as exposed to as many opportunities as I am realizing there are now that I'm 20 years in. So some examples, obviously design engineer, and that's an amazing, amazing profession for so many people. But I mean, you can take the knowledge that we have as structural engineers and apply it in different areas, right? So teaching, manufacturing, like I went into, you could take it into the software side of things or forensics, or I think there's just so many opportunities. I don't think that they're necessarily always put out on on display for everybody to know about all the time. So I really would like to to spread awareness of that. Please check out the podcast at structuralengineeringchannel.com. You can find Rachel Holland, our new co-host, along with her co-host Matt Picardo on the Structural Engineering Channel podcast at structuralengineeringchannel.com. We'll see you there.